Our second and final stop in the Maldives was Mafushi. We opted for that island as it was one, if not the most visited public island of the Maldives, and that from there we would be able to do many things at a lower cost. It was also really convenient to reach Mali Airport, which was only 35 minutes away by speedboat. In truth, we should have had started with Mafushi, because after the Gura, Mafushi felt like a tourist hotspot that wasn't at all the Maldives. But we'll be talking about that in another video. We spent two nights in Mafushi, which gave us enough time to discover the island and do a full day tour to see nurse sharks, snorkel near a shipwreck, sea dolphins, eat on a sandbank and touch stingrays. So let's start the adventure from Mali Airport. Our hotel had told us to go at the information desk of Mali Airport. When we arrived there, we met someone that had our speedboat booking. Do you know uh, at what time is the next boat? Uh, we are going like after... I will take it a boat. This time. Ah. Okay. This in, time will be. In 20 minutes? Yes. Ah, perfect. It's from here, we just need yeah, to be here. You have to pay the hotel after yeah. $25. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> eating, your, eating your plasma in your corner there. Once the time arrived, us and a group of people were shown to the speedboat. You? And then you go into the water. <laughs> We made a stop in Mali city, where the boat got super full, and then went to Mafushi. While the speedboat should only be around 35 minutes, we lost a good half an hour in the first stop in Mali, making the trip almost an hour long. Once arrived on Mafushi, we were picked up by our hotel. The ride to it was through the street with all the tour agency. It definitely had another vibe than Digura. Once in our hotel, we received a fresh towel and a welcome drink while checking. At that time, we also booked the full day tour for the next day. It seemed great and they could do vegetarian option. We then discovered our room, which was okay, but we definitely wouldn't recommend staying in this hotel. We will put links in the description of where we would recommend instead. Well, we are close to the pool, but... I mean, it's super dark. There are no windows. It's ish. Huh? We also checked another room with a balcony, but it wasn't great at all. So we kept our room and we'll let you know later the reason why we wouldn't recommend this hotel. It was then time to explore the island of Mafushi. Mafushi is one of the most popular local islands in the Maldives. It's located in South Mali Atoll, just 25 km away from Mali. It has a local population of about 3000 people. Its size is only 1.27 km long for 0.26 km wide. The whole island is actually a town. Well, first thought about Mafushi. Let's go back to Digora. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Even though Digora was a bit more expensive, you cannot compare it. This looks like a tourist town. I mean, really cheap tourist town actually. So, construction. Uh, everywhere like uh, it's uh, I don't know it's bad it's my first impression you know Don't come. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's where I should have uh, brought you. Yes. 
Jesus Christ. Wow. Nothing that like, uh, Well, it's much more developed than uh, Digour. They have like lots of shorts and everything. Yeah, but you need to go shorts. No. No. You're so bad. <laughs> Beautiful, you just flower and then a building. <laughs> This is, I guess, Bikini Beach. Ah, this is funny. We were right on time for sunset. Yeah, you have a lot of uh, boutique shops, restaurant, carrots. Ah! Ah, yeah. And to finish the day, we went for dinner at Melon Restaurant. The place had good vibes, but the service was slow and the food not so good. Before returning to our hotel, we popped by a supermarket to get some snack. We had a big day ahead of us and needed a good breakfast to get us started. After that, we went down to the lobby to get snorkeling equipment and waiting the start of the tour. Once everyone there, we headed for the boat. From Mafushi, it seems that tour boats are actually speed boats. After getting some information, we departed for our first stop. It was fun, especially with the music playing all along. Forty-five minutes later or so, we arrive at the Nurse Shark spot. There were many boats there, and each of them are first feeding the sharks to make them come behind the boat. There are that many sharks that each boat has a bunch of them. Before jumping in the water, we were told to go one by one to get picture and then let the spot for the next person or group. Actually the whole day will be like that, a kind of photo shoot one after the other. I must say that at first it was impressive seeing all the sharks, but after a while you realize that they really don't mind you and some of them are popping dead close that they are even touching you, however you should never try to touch them. At some point, I also wanted to launch my drone to get aerial shot, but it wasn't accepted, as we were leaving soon. In truth, we left 20 minutes or so later, so I would have had plenty of time, especially that there were other drones flying around.
Once back on the boat, we left for our next stop, the shipwreck. On the way, we found a group of dolphins. Highway. Once in the water, we snorkel a bit around the shipwreck. But honestly, it was too crowded. And it was the same drills as before, picture picture and picture, one by one. So we quickly escaped and went for the reef that was right on the side. For us, that was much better. We were finally alone in the Maldivian waters, snorkeling around. It was warm, there were fishes and quite some nice corals. Once back on the boat, we went for lunch on a sandbank. Surprisingly, it wasn't that easy to find one empty, as there were many many boats and tours. After a few attempts, we got to a small one, where our team installed sun umbrellas and gave us lunch boxes. We first received a regular one with meat, so we told the guy there. He then gave us the vegetarian one, which was actually exactly the same as the regular one but without meat. There were no eggs, no fish, nor anything else actually. It was quite poor. Once our lunchbox finished, we quickly went as the sandbank was being flooded by the raising tide. We were then on our way to our final destination, the island of Fulido, to observe stingrays. This was probably the coolest thing of the day trip from Mafushi, as it was super fun to be able to touch stingrays. We only had to be careful not to touch the part under their tail, where we could get stung. But globally, they were super duper friendly and it was really safe. Here also, we each went one by one, to be in the middle of the stingrays. And we even had a friendly turtle that joined.
but once our turn passed, as there were many of them, they even came to where we were on the side. After a while, it was time to get back on the boat and return to Mafushi. We popped by our hotel, took a shower, chilled a bit and then went out for dinner, as we were pretty hungry. How was your day? My day was... Great. I swam with the sharks and I still have all 10 fingers and toes and then I touched the stingrays and I saw the turtle right next to me. Hey, the turtle was fun with the stingray. Yeah. Turtle was kind of like stealing their food while we were feeding them. And in between, I had lunch on a sandbank. A small sandbank. Very tiny, that, that in the end uh, <laughs> disappeared, under disappeared the water. in the water. But we managed to finish our lunch. And you also went on the shipwreck excursion yes i went snorkeling around the shipwreck that wasn't interesting for me <laughs> so i left i needed my space it was too crowded and um, we went i'm a bit mixing i and b but we, it's always we we went to um, on the other side uh, to corals and it was really nice because they were a few left alive corals like orange and purple so that was really nice to see and a lot of uh, colorful fish uh, so I think for me that was more interesting than that uh, shipwreck. <laughs> it was uh, <laughs> crowded and yeah. nothing uh, special. Didn't have um, colorful fish, what I like. And what else I did? Uh, we did. Yeah, you saw some dolphin also. But... I saw dolphins. Yeah, I love dolphins. Baby dolphins and they were so cute like performing like that kind of like wavy dance yeah that was lovely didn't last long and uh, yeah and what globally did you think about that day this day yeah but it was nice experience better than to stay in Mafushi <laughs> where there is nothing to do well there is things to do but it's nothing authentic or original to do but what to do yeah, I don't see what would I do no the beach is not nice at all but well, it's still like, so. I don't find it and it's so also crowded and it's so it's it was our way to escape this island and we came for that actually because the excursions are um, less expensive so we came for one day to have this excursion and um, yeah it was nice but I still prefer Digura and excursions there here it's mostly more like touristy and loud music and uh, party and um, that kind of uh, vibe but um, Next time we come back to Maldives, surely we will be in Digura, or maybe some, or maybe just uh, next to it, Lux. <laughs> Who knows? Regarding the price, uh, basically in Mafushi it's twice cheaper than in Digura for the same tour. 
here we paid 75 in Digora would have been at least 150 and yeah, maximum also, 200. Yeah, but it's also uh, further. Yeah, it's much shorter. Here we were 45 minutes away. From Digora you are one hour and a half But after away. that accommodation is also twice expensive and the food? Yeah. It? No, food are okay. Food are food similar, I think. Fine. Definitely okay. the same. The accommodation, well, yeah, they are more yeah, expensive on Digura, but they are better level. Definitely. They are way better. <laughs> yeah, but this one was of the cheapest, actually. Okay. I mean, but it was available yeah. still. For dinner, we went to a place called Mr. Octopus. And to be honest, it was nice. The place had good vibes and good food. To end the day, we walk around the island, check the tours that can be done from Mafushi, and visited a few supermarkets. While talking to the tour agency, we discover something amazing. You can get to Digura from Mafushi. For that, take the whale shark tour and ask the agency to drop you in Digura. We ask a few companies and all are fine with that. There is no good in extravagance and no extravagance in good deed. Silence itself an answer to foolish ignorance. It's a really nice sentence, end quote. So Tina, third supermarket, we find the ice cream, the snack, the water, and it's prayer time. Once back in our hotel, we received some photos and videos from the tour we did, and then went to bed. When we woke up, it was our last morning. After breakfast, we headed to the Bikini Beach. It's not comfortable. Yeah. Because they are really. Uh... Uh, I think they are used to. Uh. <laughs> so overall, Mafushi is now not too bad. <laughs> Just when we arrived, it was too crowded. It wasn't the best moment. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we arrived from Digora, which is a paradise. Yeah, it's I mean, secluded and uh, yeah. Secluded and local island. Yeah, tour tourists. Yeah. I mean, not a lot of tourists. Well, you and feel alone on the island, you know. Yeah, you don't see them. Even. Yeah. If, if you are on the beach, it's like you have, I don't know, two kilometers of beach and you have maybe 10 people on it. So it's amazing. And then we came here and it got a bit um, overwhelmed yeah. by the crowds. But uh, it's not that bad. Yeah, definitely not too bad, Mafushi. The morning is very quiet. At least. Uh, this morning it's very quiet. I think that everyone is on boats chasing sharks and <laughs> dolphins and mm -hmm. uh, going for manta rays and whatever excursion they get and stuff. And as it is our last morning, we are just chilling here, recording this video. And then we'll take a speedboat back to Mali and then to Sri Lanka. But yeah, but definitely uh, do Mafushi first and do the tours first, like the nurse shark, uh, dolphin watching, uh, stingray uh, feeding, I mean, no, stingray. What do you posing? Yeah, stingray <laughs> posing actually and then a good trick like it's you stay two nights in Mafushi and then three to four nights in Digura and to transfer there 
Uh, there are no direct speedboat from Mafushi, so the only way by speedboat is Mafushi to Male, Male to Digura. Uh, we did that uh, on the opposite way to get to Mafushi, and it's quite a stretch. But they have a good trick. Uh, it's actually you take the whale shark and menta trip from Mafushi, and that happens in Digura. So you leave at 7:30 a.m. Uh, from Mafushi, you go to Digura. It's one and a half hour to two hours uh, by speedboat. Then you go and snorkel with a mentare and then whale shark. And then you go actually to have lunch on Digura Island. If you haven't seen like whale shark in the morning, then okay, you will a bit chase them uh, more in the afternoon. And actually at the end of that trip, so either after uh, lunch, if you've seen a whale shark in the morning or a bit uh, after in the afternoon, but then they can drop you and let you on Digura Island. So actually you save the cost of transportation and speedboat and a lot of time. Ah, yeah, it would be a shame not to take a last uh, swim. Fish? It's a shark. What? It's a shark. I'm also in the end happy with our stay in Makushi. <laughs> You know, like real French, you first complain, like you complain, you complain, but now you know it, it's good in the end. <laughs> At the end of morning, we went back to our hotel to pack our bags and take a shower and then we left for the airport. Bye bye Mafushi! Hey Tina! And so we arrive in the airport. And on the ferry back, on the speedboat back, Tina realized that we forgot my swim short, her bikini, and our underwater equipment for the action camp. As it was drying nicely there. So we tried contacting the property, calling them. Uh, it's the phone of a guy on the speedboat, but they didn't pick it up. So we'll see. We had idea that they could actually bring it to us. Uh, I mean, send it to us on the next speedboat, but most probably it's lost forever. And here we are. Well, we tried contacting our uh, hotel. We called them 50 times. <laughs> yeah, we called them from the phone, uh, from one of the guys that was on the speedboat. We called them from the information uh, desk in the airport. We called them on WhatsApp and texted them on WhatsApp. No answer. Uh, now, the speedboat that uh, we could have used to get back our stuff departed. There is another one in five minutes. Ten, but after that one, it is lost forever. So bye bye my uh, swim suit, my swim short that I bought one day while uh, I was going on a yoga class in Strasbourg, and I forgot my uh, stuff. Wow, so pathetic about <laughs> swim short. Tina's bikini, top part from Brazil, lower part from France, and the underwater case from the action cam. Well, nothing that can't be replaced, to be honest. I feel you cannot know outside food. 
Oh, yeah. no? We have inside food. Ah. Tonight, you want to tell us what you are eating? The Burger King. The only First vegetarian time option. In, in my life. Hey. But it's the only thing they have at the airport, so let's see. Try me. Better Burger King than chicken. And this is king burger. Wow. It doesn't seem like a king, but. It doesn't yes. look like the picture. <laughs> Actually, we found out that downstairs in the terminal there were some coffee shops with better vegetarian options. 